What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Messy Monday. That's it. That's all. That Messy Monday. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday. And you know what that means? If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock and then I'm a talk. I'm a sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you want to sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along just before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls. Let's get it. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? First, I want to take the time out to shout out all my veterans that are watching. Or if you have a friend or family member that is a veteran, happy Veterans Day to you. We appreciate everything you are doing and have done for this country. So shout out to you. Y'all were already at November 11th. But at this point, just get rid of time. Cause time, okay. I don't even know what time is anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna haul y'all cause we just got a little bit today. It really wasn't a whole lot. I guess because the election was going on, people were busy worried about that. So I wanna give a shout out to my friend and that is Whitney. <laughs> Bitch. Really, I can't even lie. Yeah, y'all, it's boring as hell right now. I ain't gonna cap you down. It's boring as hell. I, I think you were first <laughs> because I ended up dropping my phone and when I picked it up, boom, it was all these names. So I scrolled down to the bottom and you were the first there. So I just said, let me pick Whitney. Sorry to if it was somebody else who was first, but Whitney, you got my post notifications on. I love you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If y'all go over to Whitney's page and give her some love, support, follow, retweet, whatever the case may be, we are his own Navy, and one thing we do is we stick together. So, Whitney, I love you, boo. All right, let's go and get to y'all's favorite part, and that is the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying. And first, for sugar honey iced tea, we have my wave and the party. Now, Rod Wave did his infamous delete and tweet. He always deleting and tweeting, deleting and tweeting. So on that tweet that he deleted, it was a retweet to Minnie Bobby's picture and his quote was a heart with a band-aid on it. Now I don't know what's going on. He always act like he's just so hurt, so damaged, and people repairing him when he the one out here doing the damaging. Why he deleted, I don't know. But honey, you out here doing everything in the book, telling us everything, what's going on with what, but you can't. Tell us why you canceling these damn talk. This man just out here playing with everybody's emotions. These, Minnie Barbie, and ours with these concerts. And we about tired of it. So he need to stop playing the victim and come fix this shit up with everybody. But I'm confused. He up here talking about she mending his broken heart with this little emoji. But what they just telling us they went together last week or the week before? You know what I'm saying? Let's just see how this man be. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know much about Rod Wave and his women. I really don't. Business, honey. If he happy, he happy. Whatever the case may be, it is what it is. If it ain't about me, let's keep getting it. Okay. Next for the shit, honey, iced tea, we got Keisha Cole and Hunter. I don't know what for on, but it's going on. Keisha Cole went to her Instagram story <laughs> and she said, singles. I'm like, I don't know why they're here. I don't know why they ain't telling us. We told you okay. that you was single. But no, nah, the girls wanna run out here and like they got these young Thor wrapped right around their fingers because they got a little cool. Girl, that boy don't give about no cool. They just diving in that thing because you was their high school crush. Girl, what you gonna learn? You even broke that. And then get with it, no one no more. Talking about this. And then what make me so mad is then they come up with that song, Don't Let, don't let Me Down. <laughs> The same way that song let us down, he let you down too. Child, he used you for what he could, so that's just so dumb that you didn't see that coming from that man. Didn't they say allegedly word on the girl that he got somebody else? <laughs> don't get me to lie. I don't know, girl. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just out here talking about what I'm talking about. Oh, and then he just, um, paid for them birthday gifts. So stayed around long enough to get them gifts. <laughs> and she booked it. Because then they break up with once before, before this. This is just disrespectful. If y'all really want to be real, child, that man been single. <laughs> she just never posted it. That man knew he was single when he first saw her talk. What up, Maya? And that's just so sad. Keisha Cole always want to get her heart broken. Girl, you break your heart more than these girls break nails. 
<laughs> so I back it up. Maybe you need to just be single forever. Keisha, and let me tell you something. You already got all the answers to everything you need to know. Because if I could sit down and talk to you, I would have been like, Keisha, what you should have did? And then what? I, I should have cheated. Ah. And what you should have went? Maybe I should have <laughs> Facts, though. Because why aren't you doing that? I shouldn't have given away all my love and just keep doing it with every other nigga. All right. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. <laughs> okay? Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Ben and Kevo. Oh. When I tell y'all this little sugar foot get on my everlasting nerve, child, this little sister done went out there. <laughs> That's an ugly ass nigga right there, boy. This man done went out there and got a tattoo of Trump on his body. Now, I don't know if y'all know he got all these white billionaires on his skin. Hey, that is your body. Do what you want to do. But at this point, sweetie, you want to be a housewife so bad. Like, come on, girl. Might as well suck they by yet. But hey, I don't expect nothing else from Wait, wait, Spinach? Oh, Lord. Okay. Thank you. From a man that got a BBL. Cause at this point, this is just weird. Hell, I wouldn't even get Martin Luther King on me. Okay? Malcolm X, none of them. I buy a t-shirt, go get a book, a blanket. I'm not putting no man on my body. And I date men. But hey, let's just do what she do. If she DL and hate women, let her be. Like some of the old folks say, a lot of these slaves love their masters. And Miss Fang <laughs> obviously is one of them. So we can't say nothing. That's her life. Let her live. And this is what Kanye West meant when he said Harriet really didn't free them slaves because that mind is still enslaved. That white savior complex is crazy to me, but I ain't the one that got Bro, I will never get them people on my body. And what he says is, he goes viral and he makes more money. All right. I'm just talking. All right. Well, you know, they used to brand their slaves back in the day. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this cake. Next one, Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Minnie Barbie versus D. Mind you, these two was on Twitter posting these subliminal messages going back and forth, whatever the case may be. And people were starting to speculate that they were talking about each other, but they never said it because they didn't act. See, this is why I hate when the girls don't act. One thing about me, if I got something to say to you, I'm going to say it to you because, baby, I need to get down to the nitty gritty. Barbie had wrote, trying so hard to be unbothered online, but being bothered as in real life is insane. Oh, my God. So then D came back and she said, come in, I'm gonna eat my just like her nigga do. I Damn. Said, Ooh. So then after D put that, Barbie come back and she said, everything I tweet ain't about you. I don't give a about you, bones. What the f***? And y'all can't tell me that these two are not tweeting to each other. It is so obvious they are going back and forth without going back and forth. But what I'm wondering is, why did Barbie say what she said at the beginning when she said trying to act unbothered um, online but be bothered with them real life? Because you know, Dee Dee acting like she ain't got nothing to do with it. She don't care about them too. She got her new little rendezvous she got going on. Woo, woo, woo. But is she saying stuff behind the scenes that we ain't seeing? So now that's why Barbara, okay, girl, let me go in and call you out in front of everybody since you want to act up. There's definitely a lot of people who act like they cool online but be stressed the hell out. And a lot of people be wanting to be like that person. But no, y'all should want to be like yourself because people really be going through it out here. And she wrote trying to act on bother online but really be bothered in real life. I don't know. I'm just trying to give a scenario here. So that's when Barbara retweeted one of Tana's posts <laughs> talking about, you know, the girls who be sitting there unbothered be the most ones that's bothered. So then that's when D start responding to commenters because they was like, you know, okay, so it's what's going on? Give us a T. What's the 411? Because this girl show is tapping her fingers on these keyboards. So then that's when somebody said, no proof that you be crying online or in real life, whatever the case may be. And she said, child, she can't be talking about me and that's on Jayla. And then the person she said, girl, I see it with my own eyes. And then that's when, that's when uh, D said, well, girl, prove it. So then the person said, oh, girl, D, put it on your kids that you weren't crying at man's messages. So honey, I don't know why she fussing with this person. I think this might be somebody on a little foo-foo page. Like, that might be uh, Nari, whatever her name is, Barbie, on the foo-foo. Because why is you paying attention to this person and this person talking about they know you was crying? If you know that this person know that you weren't crying in this man's messages and you weren't doing whatever the case may be, then why are you fussing with a stranger? And I ain't gonna lie, what made me kiki just a little bit was when that person said, girl, you bragging about being a side to your baby daddy. I said, Aside to the baby daddy, it's preposterous.
on, whatever the case may be. But what I'ma say is, Barbie need to calm down and bring it down just a couple of notches because beefing with somebody, baby mama, is nasty work. Knowing that this person ain't gonna never leave that person alone. No matter if they date or not, she gonna always be there regardless of you, because that is the mother of the child, so you sound stupid beefing with that woman anyway. But if you ask me, he big enough for both of them. <laughs> so, she get one side, she get the other. Let's just call it a big happy family, because y'all let this man play in y'all face, and that's on y'all, child. And then on top of that, what I don't even understand is, if you got the man now, why are you even worried about if this girl tweeting or bothered or unbothered anyway? You got the man. So what's the problem? Hush, because obviously you don't really got them and you intimidated by this girl. Oh, girl, Miss Minnie Barbecue, we ain't got time for you. All right, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating this cake. Next to the shit. Ooh, uh, uh, Rob Wave coming back to Cali. We got the ice tea, we have dirt. Now y'all keep screaming free dirt, free dirt, free dirt, and the system just want to see the black man down. But <laughs> I'm not the smartest one in the bunch. <laughs> I'm not. But if you allegedly orchestrate a murder <laughs> and the person you orchestrated the murder for don't get murdered, but the relative of that person gets murdered, <laughs> ain't you guilty? You guilty. I'm just, I'm just asking the question. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just guilty asking the hell. question. Because guilty if is it charged. was your Guilty then a bit. If it was your friend, would you be asking for the person who keeps your friend to be free? I, I mean, I'm, I'm not the smartest one in the bunch. I'm just asking the question. Now, while he's in there, they gave him two more charges. This is crazy, y'all. They done freed little thug and then I got dirt. It ain't this facility of a place. Whoop, 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 chop, just all of this, girl. And now the five men plus him are facing up to life in prison. This is crazy. How you rich and still slow? That don't make no sense to me. I feel once you get to a certain status, you gotta let all that you was doing go. And child, y'all done bullet this man to get his lick back. And now look, now y'all whining. Whining and crying. You ain't gonna fly for fun. You ain't gonna spend for him. Now he done spent and spent his life out of whack. Now look, right back where you got away from. Lord, have mercy, you know. But, Pray for him. He better go call the lawyer if it ain't about me. Okay. Cause baby thug is outside. Me. Let's keep in this case. All right, you guys. That's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into baby, this. Now. If you want to start with the chicken, you know, you can put it in a bag. You don't know. What? Oh, damn. Why? I mean, we can still. Okay. But what are the kids going to eat? Okay. First of the ducket, we have Lil TJ versus A. Ross and Kasana. Now, child, this is crazy because I don't even know where this came from because I could have sworn Kai and TJ were cool, but hey. So Kai's doing his mafia thun, and he had Kodak Black on there. Now, we all know how that was going. Well, TJ came out, and he said, I think hate this kid, him and again, the biggest D-Riders in life. And I'm sitting here like, what the f*** is he trying to say, stupid? Him and again, I think hate this kid. I think he meant, <laughs> I hate this kid. Him and Aiden are the biggest riders in life. And I'm like, oh. Oh, got it. Child, it took me 48 hours to understand what the fuck going on. I was having a brain aneurysm trying to figure out it out. But I'm glad we was watching it because I would have misunderstood it too. We got it. So Aiden comes out after seeing what TJ said, and Aiden was like, yo, Kai, keep doing your subathon. Don't worry about what this perk head is talking about. That didn't sit right with TJ, and this is what TJ had to say. I told Aiden your coach of OT, he told me I'm on perks. I don't take perks. I don't take drugs. I might sit there a little. He thought he did his big one by saying, I don't take perks. And then he's like, I don't take drugs. Nigga. Yeah, you do. Lean as drugs, my boy. Now and then. <laughs> Actually, less than you. I'm racist. I look like I take perks because I'm black, right? I know. I know. He told me. I sent him a voice note about how I feel like your culture votes. He told me he's not watching that. He's watching the election. And that I need to stop taking perks. That's what he think about. Niggas. He just grind his way to the top using that little face call he got. And you niggas, that niggas better stay woke. 
Niggas use everybody. They only fuck with the top nine niggas because they using niggas. This nigga's a hater. And he was on lean when he said it. Culture vulture. Stop looking at Yak like he's a widow. No, sometimes that's how rappers act. In our society, that's how we act. That's how we get. To me, we different niggas. This is the one lane where hood niggas get to make they bread. Hood niggas make they bread and put on for other hood niggas. Really, bro? So sometimes rappers could act weird. It's from different places than y'all. I ain't gonna lie. And I don't take perks. I get high. But I don't take perks, fool. So you tell me I need to stop taking perks, fool. It's racist to me, gang. Like, where your mind at? Look, T. Hi, like what? TJ. <laughs> Shut the hell up. If you just want to go to the house, say that. Don't get mad that your invite got declined. But for you to sit up here and promote that rappers got to act like this and pop perks and because this is where hood niggas is in their lane and they can do this, y'all are just continuing to keep each other down, messing up each other's lives, putting each other back in jail, killing messing each up each other's liver. Each other. When is somebody going to break that cycle? So Kai gets word of what's going on and this is what he has to say to little TJ. On his story? What about a little TJ? A little TJ has speed, that's the gang gang. What happened? What? It's Kai genuinely not knowing what's going on. <laughs> I fake hate this kid. Him and again. Huh? I fake hate this kid. Him and again the biggest riders in life. What? Him and again? Him and again? What? Aiden? Him and Aiden the best. Him and Aiden the biggest fighters in life. Why you hate me? Looking at Yak like he's a widow. No, sometimes that's how rappers act. In our society. Huh? I wasn't looking at Yak like he was a widow, nigga. I was genuinely confused. Niggas be thinking niggas is rappers and everybody doing drugs and everybody like, you know what I'm saying? On this low vibrational big plate and this Cheeto that I'm eating. That's not even the case. I was, what the f That's how we act. That's how we get. That's how we act? Why you say me for? I thought we was cool. What? I don't know why he mad. I literally don't know. I was generally looking at Kodak because I was confused. Was I cool with Kodak the whole night? Yes. I was chilling with Kodak. You know how much would have, would have, like, would have just, like, did even more? I, I embraced him. Like, I made sure he was good. I made sure he felt comfortable. All that. Talking about something. He going to show Lil something. Like, what you mean? Like, we Lil niggas. You see, that's, I ain't going to lie, chat. You see, this is crazy. Because I'm with TJ. And he cry, he, he's saying it. I didn't even do nothing. They got stream. You feel me? What? Like we ain't never have a problem. So like, I ain't even, I ain't even do nothing. Why is he mad? Why say me for? We streamers. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I, I heard him say, um, you only with the top people. I don't know if he's talking about Aiden, but chat. I generally be minding my business. Then some way, somehow. I get dragged in somewhere every single time. And I'ma just go ahead and think that a song or an album or something about a, about a drop, you feel me? TJ, it's unfortunate that you didn't even like text me or nothing like, or say, yo, this is what you did with him was cool. Like, I don't even remember you having a problem with me. So me, so you saying that was like, damn, nigga. Don't come here on no Merry Christmas. It's always, ugh. Walmart. New York, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, chat. We supposed to stick together every single time. We split apart every time. It's cool though. I don't know what I did wrong. I ain't know what I do. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know, chat. I don't know. Our lifestyle not a little lifestyle though. So like, I'm a grown man. So I don't know who he calling little. I'm just saying. He could just call me. I don't know what's the problem. Like, why he mad at me for? Like, I don't know why. I'm not feeding into it. How about that? It is what it is. He hate me. He hate me. All right, you hate me. All I can't do is just I'm gonna just unfollow him. That's it. Call him for what? Call him in front of y'all for what? So he can get stirred up. Y'all can love it. Y'all can clip it up. Like I'm not with that, bro. It is what it is. He's mad. I don't know. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? It is. Just ignore it. You cannot mix negativity, bro.
You feel what I'm saying? Now, if you ask me, I think TJ Maxx... Kai's mom raised him very well. Because Kai fucked with A Boogie. That's the T, so he better be quiet when he said A Boogie back over there. I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's what the world on the curve is saying. You know, I don't get in the mix of all that stuff. But... That's what they said it is, child. And then you got the girls on the curb saying, how you getting mad at him for hanging with Boogie when, honey, you tried to run off with this man's style but fail at it. <laughs> you know what? They say everything TJ try to do fail. Take Boogie's style, fail. Damn. Trying to grow your hair out for a decade, fail. Damn. Because your hair still in premature toddler stage, girl. And we like, when is that bone grow? I don't know, but... I ain't got nothing to do with it. And then something told me, so go to his page. I go to his page. He got music out. <laughs> you that girl. Why y'all have Thanksgiving in Ge Ireland? How they skip Thanksgiving, but they support Christmas? Uh, you got y'all got some explaining. For us to listen to your shit, they still ain't gonna listen to it. Make me goddamn sick. Everybody will always want to start something when they got something coming out. If it ain't about me, let's kick in this case. Next on the docket, we have Halle versus DDG. As we all know, DDG ended up taking Halo onto Kasanat's Subathon. Yo! Yo! Hi, how you doing? Man, I don't, I don't want to make him, I don't want to make him cry, bro. Nah, he, he cool. Hold on, let me get you, hold on, let me get you, let me get you, let me get you a seat real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, <laughs> he looks just like you, bro. You look like me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah look, look like him. Well, I'm not gonna lie, he looked just like Daryl, bro. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's Halo himself live in the flesh. Yeah, now, Halo, y'all know this, but I'm your uncle. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm your uncle. You know, um, you know when you were born and stuff like that. I got to see. You know, your dad reveal, reveal, reveal you and stuff. So, um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Halo. Shake him up. So, Allie did come down. She says, hi, everyone. Just so you know, I am out of town. I wasn't aware that my son was going to be on stream. I wasn't told or notified, and I'm extremely upset. To have my baby <clears> I feel like we have gone through all of this all week, and I feel like by the time we get to it with Zoe, we have seen it 40 times at this point. <laughs> Millions of people, I am his mother and his protector. And said it when I wasn't notified, especially when I'm out of town. Child, that took the internet into an uproar. People were like, Hallie, that is not your child. That is y'all's child. And woo, woo, woo. But how could she do that? Men were talking about, be careful when you have babies with. Women are so bitter. That's that bitter baby mama. She just wants to do this. She wants to take the child away from him. And just going crazy. So now that everybody's put their input in, she's trending on Twitter. Hallie comes back and she says, you know what? As a woman experiencing severe postpartum, there are boundaries that I wish to be respected. Nobody knows what anybody is going through until they snap. And so what I got from that is, I don't think she really meant to target DDG. I don't think she had anything out to make him look bad. Men really she definitely targeted DDG don't understand how postpartum works it's like depression it's like hormones you're up you're well yeah outside of that because i truly think that um depression breaks up a lot of these couples down you're all over the place all in one you're battling with yourself at this moment and this is your first born baby your first child ddg is used to the camera he's used to all that negative energy because he used to troll so he don't get a pally ain't used to all of that so she's being a mama bear. She's protecting her child. She's worried about her child. What's going on with her child? Y'all see how these people treat Krishan Rock and her baby Junior. These don't give a damn. People were like, well, he's already a meme. He's already this. That's because they put him out there. She puts him in videos. She takes his pictures. DDG puts him in videos. DDG takes his pictures. He's able to edit what y'all want to see. If his baby probably looked a little weird in this one, he could edit that out. If the baby don't look good on this angle, he could edit that out before he posts it up on social media. But in a live stream, it could be anything. You could screenshot something could happen. You know what I'm saying? Kai got a lot going on in that house. People might be like, oh, well, why is the baby here at this time? Why he doing that? This is this. It's just a lot. And instead of having to deal with it, all she was asking was just to let me know this is where he's going so I can be prepared and prepare myself what the world is about to say. We know he's going to be protected by DDG. We know DDG ain't going to let nothing happen. We know DDG ain't going to put his son in no danger. But it's just sometimes men don't take that extra step to think about this could happen here. So then for his friends to even come out and say, I feel was disrespectful. That's bad fire, bro. Oh, he was eating. 
Oh, he threw it? No, I'm talking about what, uh, what she did backfired. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I don't think he was wrong for that. Why she would do this? They were literally just together knowing how much hate this brings him. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think that uh, George sh should have read the room. Like, if you if you see a camera coming in, what are we doing? But I think that um, he would. I feel like he said it backfired for a reason. I feel like he, she's, I don't know. Something could be going on behind the scenes for him to say something like that. And why would you run to Twitter and do that? I don't get that. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? You know what that's going to bring to her. You know how much hate DDG already get you. She know what this And then these two right here. Y'all should have said nothing. That's between her and him. The same way you said she could have. Gideon and uh, Def your rage definitely should have kept their opinion to themselves, especially Gideon. Text, you could have texted him that like, hey, bro, don't even worry about it. Let it go. But now all y'all bashing her on stream. I like how the fact DDG didn't even acknowledge that guy when he said what he said. But whatever the case may be, he need to watch his homeboys. Sometimes your homeboys can fuck your relationship because they single and miserable. And she need to make sure she's got her good people around her because sometimes your homegirls could be single and miserable. So then she comes back and she apologizes. She's like, hey, you know, I might have overreacted. I know Halo was always going to be safe with his father. I just don't like finding out with the rest of the world. And he ain't got to say everything he doing with the baby because that's his son too. But just big things like that. I feel parents should communicate with each other. Just like if you're gonna take your baby out of town, hey, we're not together, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about to take me and Halo, we're going to Hawaii. That is understandable and reasonable. I would hope you would do that. That is it, that is all. So then DDG came back because he saw the hate she was getting and I commend him for this because some men would sit there and be like, hey, you tried to get me embarrassed, let them embarrass you. And he told y'all, look. One thing I don't like when people do, I don't like when people hate on Hallie. I don't care. All right, we already seen this. We're going to keep it going. Yeah, neither one of them are right. We're going to figure it out. Plain and simple. It is what it is. I'm glad they got to an understanding. And, um, yeah. Neither one of them are right or wrong. I feel like they were both just being parents and doing what parents do. Mama was being mama and daddy was being daddy. And that's how parenting goes. And the fact that they came to an understanding shows the growth and maturity of them being parents and not allowing the commoners to f*** that up. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next on the docket, we got Dr. Joe versus Sharpe. Now, honey, this ain't sitting right with me because Shotty Bay already had some type of beef going on with Terry Joe back in the day. Her. Shotty Bay. Come on. <laughs> said that she didn't like me. Oh. Period. Period. Terry Joe, I'm not going to say nothing about this situation. She can say whatever she wants in this point of view. I'm going to just keep my mouth shut in this point of view. Shotty, Shotty. She needs to get humbled, though. Not good tonight. I'm staying humble. So that brings us to today where Terry Joe goes to Shotty Bay's 22nd birthday party where I thought this girl was turning 38 if you ask me, but hey, what am I? So uh, when she gets there, I don't know how the altercation happened. People aren't talking about how it happened, but I feel as though it was a setup because them guys fought Terry Joe. It was five against one. So you mean to tell me one of y'all couldn't take on another one person? Yeah. What so, honey, Shawty Bay ended up going live, and this is what she has to say. All I'm about to say is, it's not my fault, and I'm not involved. I was outside, getting drunk as well. I am not about to talk about anything. Shawty and Bay look crazy as hell. What is this? And <laughs> I did not uh, set up, do a setup. You guys say. But to be honest, I don't care what you say anyways. You always want to put me in drama. You always want to say, want me. Go ahead, do it. I don't care. So, you weren't there. So, don't say anything if you don't know. Because you weren't there. I met her before. She didn't do it to me. Um, she could have said in front of my face because she's seen me so many times. And, yeah, that's it. Me and her don't have beef. And I don't know why she wants to lie to the internet that we had beef. When we did it, like some people, I'm telling you, people lie all the time. I'm telling you, like I never had beef with this woman, you know, you know what I mean? And I did not set 
Set it up, girl. Go off. Girl, Joe ain't said nothing. She just chilling, minding her business. Like, hey, you know what? It is what it is, whatever. But I'm telling you, I feel, I feel, Shadi Bay had some beef and she set Tara Joe up. It gotta be. But something in the water is fishy and I don't think it's Tara Joe. You feel catfish? What you mean? But we will see. If it ain't about me, let's see. Oh, it. with that makeup. I, I agree. Hey. All right, you guys. That's all I have for Messy Monday. I know it was quick and. Yeah, y'all, the tea is dry, girl. We trying our best to find a little something. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.